Hey guys, what's up? <clears throat> um, another DIY how to video. How to remove the brass fitting or tap of a propane tank, or how to recycle a propane tank. So, these ones with the, I really like these ones. These are the older ones with the aluminum uh, tap. The older ones, when you open them up like that, they'll piss out. But um, the more modern ones have a safety, they have a safety valve in there. So you can open it up, but the, but the gas won't come out. The only way the gas will come out is if you screw a if you screw a regulator into there, like a barbecue regulator, or um, you can use a screwdriver or something that would stick in there and press, there's a valve in there, and if you press in on the safety valve, the gas will come out. So always check if there's any gas in there, because you don't want to, you don't want to take the tap out and have a bunch of propane evacuate in your face. <clears throat> Trust me, you don't want that. Ask me how I know. Anyway, um, <laughs> so these ones here are like, they're pretty easy because you just open it and make sure that they're empty. Um, and they have aluminum ha tap handle, which I really like because they're easy, super easy to remove. Whether they have a screw in the top or not, this one has a flat, a flat screw. You stay here, Ryder. Sorry, I was just talking to my dog. Anyway, now, uh, there's a couple of different ways you can go about removing that, but I'm gonna show you the way I do it. I made that. And uh, that's a three quarter inch impact gun, pneumatic. And I've got about 100 and uh, between 100 and 150 psi. And what I did was I took an extension that was a three-quarter inch extension. So I just took a three-quarter inch extension or an old socket or whatever, something that'll fit on your gun. <clears throat> Like that. So anyway, um, I was looking at uh, the shape of this, and I was looking at other uh, sockets that people have made for doing this, and I sort of came up with my own. I just made this out of scrap. And then uh, what it was was a nice rectangle, rectangular tube there. And I think I measured it once before. I can't remember the exact size. Uh, it's, it's, I think it's one by two, but it's, I'm not sure exactly, or uh, somewhere around there. I have to measure the tubing, but you can use square tube, round tube, rectangular tube, as long as it fits over there, and uh, still, but it still has to hit. Um, still has to grab grab the piece of brass this one here I had to reinforce it a couple times or I had to get it reinforced a couple times because I took I, I've done a lot of uh, a lot of tanks with this I think I've recycled probably between 100 and 200 tanks and valves <clears throat> so um, these here I recycle them for brass, and uh, I clean them up the best I can, and I get a brass price by the pound. And they're pretty heavy. Each one weighs about, there's probably about a pound in each one. When you get them out, they're pretty thick. Maybe not quite a pound, but pretty close to a pound. So the reason why I like these aluminum tap ones is because they're super, super easy to remove. Let me show you. Now, <clears throat> if that tap was made out of steel, you if you strike it, you might cause a spark, but that's not made of steel. 
that's made out of uh, cast aluminum or die cast or something like that. I think they're cast aluminum. As you can see here, I've already recycled a few in this spot. So, I use a hammer. You can, uh, once I get going, like if I'm not holding the camera and once I get going, I'm just, I'm just, I go beast mode on these things. And it, a guy with a screwdriver or um, whatever you need to take those out, he might take a while taking them all out. And me, when I, when I go at this, it's hard to do it holding the camera and talking and everything, but when I get going on these, they come off real quick. <laughs> now, like I said, if you, if you strike steel, you might cause a spark. So always be safe, be careful. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, if you're going to try something like this, make sure you're safe. You might want to wear uh, eye protection and ear protection. Safety first. You see that? <clears throat> that I, I did that in one strike. One strike. And the screw comes out. The, the screw is made of steel. So you want the brass to be clean. There can't be very much steel in it at all. Or there can't be any steel on it if you're going to recycle it for clean brass. Because I get money. I get money for recycling them. Not very much. It's probably like 75 cents a pound or depends on uh, depends on what type of brass you have and everything else and what the prices are because prices fluctuate just like the stock market but um, you're gonna get at least 75 cents a pound for the brass and uh, now it's clean because the aluminum is gone, the steel is gone and aluminum and steel contaminate brass so anyway one strike now if I was in a hurry if I wanted to do a bunch of these just bang done bang done bang done so anyway that's the first step now I built this there's two different uh, it only fits one way you can tell it's worn it's been hit pretty hard there <laughs> but anyway um, you can see it's been rounded there. I've, like I said, I've done probably 200, maybe 150 uh, brass valves with this, and I'm hitting, I'm hitting it with a really big gun. So you want it to be strong. If you build a tool or a socket, you want it to be very strong. Now I made it so it fits one way. Some people strap these de tanks down and they hold them tight and they turn it with a bar or a wrench. With the impact gun, 